So about my husband. All right, so my husband is a big man and is 6'4". I'm 5'8". We breed big kids. And, um, and we wanted them to be in sports And when they were growing up. And so we made them do all kinds of mess they didn't want to do. And we put our boy, when he was little bitty, we put him in T-ball. He hated it. <laughs> Um, I don't know if any of y'all have had a baby play t-ball, but for those of you who don't know, t-ball season, it's about 110 degrees outside. <laughs> it's little children that are four, look like they've got a diaper on under their baseball pants <laughs> or a pull-up. Um, the games last about three hours. <laughs> Nobody ever hits the ball, throws the ball, catches the ball makes contact with the ball. <laughs> My baby laid in a fetal position in the outfield the entire season. He never touched a ball. Every once in a while, he'd pop his little head up and say, water. <laughs> one game, it was so hot. And I, t I told the middle one to go out and take her brother a water bottle. She was about two and a half. And she went walking out there with a tutu and a crown and a wand and her pink prostitute shoes from Walmart. <laughs> she walked about halfway, stopped, got a glazed look over her eyes, pulled her little panties to the side and pooped in the T-ball thing. <laughs> she really did. So I had to run out there and get a stick and flick it into the woods because I didn't want another child to step in it or think it was a milk dud. He would not play sports for several years because of that trauma and then ended up playing football and, and cross country and a bunch of stuff and still very... He likes to mountain bike and hike and do scary things, but he likes to come, you know, out west to do it. He likes, and he's a fly fisherman. Can y'all tell I'm in love with him? Okay. Okay. All right, about the sports. I played sports. I wanted him to play sports too. I know y'all are thinking, you sissy thing, you did not. But I played basketball. Thank you. I need that. Um, it was the early 80s when I played, and uh, I had really big hair. I used to hot roll my hair to play ball. <laughs> we all did. Okay, so, and I am from such a little bitty farming community, and it's 500 people in Middle Tennessee, and we didn't know what waterproof mascara was. So by the end of my games, I looked like, Say if Tammy Wynette and Alice Cooper had a child together. <laughs> I was a forward. Sometimes I had to be the center if Mary Dallin had to take her baby to the health department. <laughs> My husband is very smart, does very well. Um, we are sucking the life out of him. Um, he is... Uh, Nice looking man, but he has a receding hairline and he hates it. I think it's handsome, but he hates it. So I said, why don't I take you to my hairdresser and we'll get her to buzz you one of those haircuts real close to your head, like Justin Timberlake. You know what I mean? Like real close to the head. Well, we did it and we didn't know his head was pointed. <laughs> And he said, I look like somebody. And I can't quite think of who it is. And I said, is it bull on night court? <laughs> he said, no. That's not who I was thinking about. I was, and about three days later, he said, I know who it is. It's that lazy starfish Patrick on SpongeBob. <laughs> 
thank y'all so much for watching my special. Um, now, I need you to watch my entire special for 99 cents and then click it. And then I need you to watch more clips and then click it. And I don't know what you're supposed to be clicking, but they tell the young people are telling me. I don't understand, but just click it.